some of you have been seeing that there's been some moisture problems inside the Outlander headlights. These two are fine here, but you check this one out. Full of moisture, no good. Burns out bulbs, then you get stuck in the bush with no light. <laughs> so, H with Tamarack Trail Riders here has come up with the fix. And it's one of these little devils here. It's an LED. This is a flood. There is spot also available. You can buy them on Amazon. Uh, what were they? 35 dollars 30, for, for two of them on Amazon. Uh, then you're going to need some plumbing parts from Home Depot. So basically you take that this is a drain for a shower. Uh, there's the part number there. It's kind of hard to see, but. And make sure it's that one because there's another one that looks the same, but it doesn't fit. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll post the part number in the comments below. Then you're going to need one of these uh, adapters. And inside this adapter, you're going to have to take your die grinder and just take the threads out of the die grinder so that the light. So the light goes in it. As you can see the light doesn't quite fit but if you take your die grinder, grind those threads out, the light will slide in just perfectly and then we're just going to add some urethane or silicone to, to hold it in there. Now for adjustment, we found using the stock adjustment bolts that uh, they don't quite work quite, you need a little bit of a spacer. So if you have a piece of aluminum or, or whatever you have basically cut out a pattern like this out of your aluminum and use that as a spacer and then the adjusters and the springs and everything work good and you can adjust the light so basically this goes into there like that then this assembly goes into there take the take the screen off and uh, is there any modifications to this well, uh, we have to cut quite a bit. Okay, there's a little bit of cutting on that. But we'll, once we pull the other one back out, we'll show you all we'll show you. We'll show you what the finished project looks like. But anyway, we'll fire them up here. As you can see what it looks like when it's in the in the unit. It looks like a custom fit piece. looks like store bought, not Home Depot bought. So we'll fire these up. You can see the difference. It's incredible. The difference. You can barely see the, the low beam on the left hand side compared to the right hand side. Incredibly bright. No light bar needed, even though there is one on there. <laughs> So here's the factory light, it's got four tabs on it, but you'll find inside your housing there's only three adjuster bolts. So basically you cut it out, cut out your piece of aluminum for three adjuster bolts, so it'll look like that, so that you can use your adjuster bolts, you need that spacer in there, and you end up with a, a light housing like that. So here's your Here's your light, your plumbing part, and you notice how we, how we had to grind the threads out of there to make, make the light fit in. And that replaces that. No more water issues. Right here, if you look in here, you can see how the adjusters. It's hard to get in here. Somebody should have washed his quad first. You can see how the adjusters are made for that adapter bracket. So then you can adjust the height up and down and the direction left and right to get it to where you want it to shine. A uh, little bit of a wiring. It comes with a connector, a water weather tight connector. 
So basically what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to take that plug off. That's the factory plug there. You're going to take that off. Splice that in to your factory harness. And then you have a weather tight connector there if you need to disassemble it for something. And that's what she looks like from the inside. We'll get a good get a good view of this thing out at nighttime one time.